Jean-Luc, I'm the operational manager at Bikeflip and right now we are at one of our uh, pop-up stores. Um, we have a children's subscription, uh, which means uh, that the idea of your child growing and your bike doesn't grow, mm -hmm. we solve that problem by having a children's subscription. Mm -hmm. You get a smallest bike when you're like around three, four. Yeah, yeah. And then your kid grows out of the bike. Normally you need to buy a new bike mm -hmm. and you just get a bigger bike here. And if yeah. the bike breaks down, yeah. we'll just repair it for you. And yeah. we, go, uh, we can go in my house now. As you can see here, uh, we've made a little playground so people can do the test drive here. Mm -hmm. But more important, of course, for us is actually that this is our work spot. Um, we, are, we have a place for, at the moment, uh, 12 people working at the bikes. Right. Well, this is from volunteering grandpas, but also paid people. Right. And all the bikes come in from all different locations. If bikes are placed wrongly by the city, uh, in the city, the city will pick them up and bring them to us. Uh, we buy them for a low fee and then we'll just uh, upcycle them. And after that, the bikes look like this and then we can get them to the kids again. Nice, I love it, I love it. And we've got some bikes here that look like they are, are these ready to go out yeah, or, yeah. oh, these fantastic. Are our, these are our bikes for Monday. Uh, so we do uh, five, uh, six drives a week okay. uh, between Utrecht, Amsterdam, Hilversum, Almere and Amersfoort. Oh, um, wow. And we just come here, put it in a van, drive them around. If yeah. there's a repair, we can also do a stop by there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it started of course with one order a week and mm -hmm. now uh, yesterday we had like 18 orders on the same day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I see like a little studio set up over yeah. here. <laughs> What's this all about? Yeah, we, need to, we need to use all the space we have yeah. and uh, one of the important things is keeping our bikes updated so yeah. the bikes come in and sometimes when they get repaired, they look a little different. So right. we take a new picture and yeah. we can actually update our pictures on the website. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Oh, so people can literally go onto the website yeah. and be able to see yes. you know, what bikes are available. Every bike we have are also on our website, so they wow. can just pick them online and let them be delivered or they can come here and try out the bikes so for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What an operation, this is fantastic. Yeah. And so obviously people can donate uh, bikes of all sizes because yeah. I see some bigger bikes here yeah. too. True, true, we do all sizes we have for everything. We have a purpose, so small mm -hmm. bikes, children's bikes is mainly our um, head product. Mm -hmm. But we also work together with uh, the municipality to place bikes uh, for people who have it less, yeah, we're a little bit less wealthy. Okay. And they can get a bike for really cheap from us and then the municipality pays the rest of the bike. Yeah. And that way we can keep uh, the Netherlands mobile. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's like keeping that recycling and upcycling and making sure that r the reuse continues, yeah. not mm -hmm. just for kids' bikes, but also for Every size, bikes. every yeah. bike, everybody in yeah. the Netherlands um, has the right to have mobility, to yeah. drive to their parents, to drive yeah. to the grocery store. And uh, well, maybe in other cities, everybody goes by car. The Netherlands is quite flat, so everybody just bikes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you have good wind. Definitely, <laughs> wind, yeah. Yeah, very strong wind sometimes. Winds, yeah, yeah. And, and luckily it changes as well. So yeah, if you're yeah, lucky, yeah. you always have the, the wind in your back. Yeah, but yeah. normally when I drive here, yeah. I go by bike, I always have the wind yeah. from the front. So yes, yes. And when I go home, I have the same wind again. Yeah, yeah that, that's the joke, of course, is that you know people say, oh, you guys in the Netherlands, you just ride bikes because it's so flat. Yeah. This is, oh yeah, just wait. Yeah. You see the wind, <laughs> yeah, yeah. then flat, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The more you go yeah. to the coast, the more windy it yeah. gets, for sure, yeah. So how do people find out about Bike Flip? We have different uh, marketing channels. You can see us on Instagram. Of course, we try YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. We have posters hanging around. But the most important thing for us is our product. Right. And our product uh, leads a lot of to mouth-to-mouth -to -mouth, uh, right. uh, advertisement. Yeah. So we can actually see on our maps that if we have one small uh, person, yeah. then maybe in two months, three months, we yeah. have three or four uh, kids in the same street and that that yeah. thing just grows yeah. that's why we are in a lot of different cities while we're not have, while we've not yet completed the market in Utrecht yeah. because every seed we plant will just grow out yeah. it'll just grow out yeah fantastic and uh, take us back to the beginning what was the origin story of yeah. bike flip the origin story is of Kasparas Bayer um, mm -hmm. he did a master on global sustainability science okay. And in this study, they needed to make a fictional uh, company. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, he, uh, with three or four other students, came up uh, with the idea to make a circular bicycle subscription for kids. Uh, because, of course, it's, it's cozy, it's nice, and uh, upscaling, matching with the master. I got an aid for the project. And after that, uh, the University of Utrecht actually has different ways you can 
um, uh, what's the great word for it? Expand yourself and expand right. the yeah. ID. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Utrecht Inc. Yeah, so yeah. they got a lot of uh, mentorship from that. And after yeah. that, um, the master was done. Right. And Kast was like, well, I have nothing to do and I can apply for a job now, but I actually think this project might be something. Yeah. Yeah. And by that, a friend of him joined in. I was looking for an internship for yeah. my uh, for my uni, so I joined in later. Yeah. Well, and yeah, before you know, I think we have like around 40, 35 to 40 people working here right now. Fantastic. Let's walk this way, and we'll take a look at uh, some of the repairs going on. And so yeah, you, so you started out as an intern. Yeah. And how many years ago was that? Uh, three years now. Yeah. Three years. Three years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then it was small. Yeah. Um, you can imagine this bike hanging here, of course, from uh, from one of our stations. There were a lot of bikes hanging around it. The workspace was really small. Yeah. But yeah, as, as, if you grow, you get more yeah. capacity, you can get more people here, and then everything grows just more. Yeah. What I, I love, too, about this is we see that we have just a, an entire array yeah. of spare parts and yeah. a whole bunch of bikes that need work on. Definitely. And, of course, and again, if we swing around, we can see some of the employees and volunteers yeah. uh, doing work at the, the stations here. Yeah. Yeah, one thing is really important why normal uh, bike shops actually don't do kids bikes mm -hmm. is you can see every bike everywhere, every bike's completely different. Right. Different brands yeah. and all these different brands have different parts. Oh yeah, yeah. So you need to have a lot of space you can see in the in the baskets behind mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. is we have a part for every bike, yeah. everything. And if not, yeah. you can just get it from one of our other bikes. Yeah. Um, and every bike that comes in has a use this way. Yeah. So yeah. if we cannot repair the bike, we can just get it out completely take it apart and use it for parts. Yeah. All the bikes you see over there are the bikes we'll repair mm -hmm. coming this week, two weeks. Right. All the bikes upstairs are the bikes which are online on our website. Yeah. And the bikes over there are for some of our projects. Fantastic. And uh, for somebody who uh, maybe just wants a used bike, maybe an adult bike, not even just a kid's bike, could they just come and purchase a bike? No, we don't do we don't do sale okay. uh, because if you sell it, we are afraid that it will end up in the second hand market. Okay. You have to put it on the marketplace right. again. Um, but if you bring it back, we can repair it and make sure that everything is sustainable as right. possible and just get it out again. Okay. But you can definitely get in here, mm -hmm. pick a bike, mm -hmm. do it around, drive mm -hmm. it a circle, mm -hmm. and then uh, take the bike with you, uh -huh. which would be like around 12 euros a month okay. for an adult bike. Okay, so like a, for a, a, a subscription. So yeah, like, like for instance, I'm in, in Europe for two months. Yeah. I could come and do Definitely. a two months and Definitely. bring the bike back yeah. because it's really your bike. That's true. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's my bike, but it doesn't mean you can't put things on your bike because Got kids, it. of yeah. course, want to put like little toys on them, yeah. bells, yeah. you recolor it. Everything is completely fine. Fantastic. Because we think that if one kid wants it, well, yeah. then there's probably a different kid yeah. we can find for it again. Yeah. I've got some Street Surfer People stickers that kids can put on. Well, yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything that we haven't talked about about Bike Flip that you want to make sure to leave the audience with? Um, well, I want to make sure that um, people look at all the stuff they have mm -hmm. and they think about all the things you throw away in a year. Mm -hmm. And all these things, everything for sure has a way to use it again. If not for yourself, yeah. then somebody else, or maybe any company who thought of a way smarter thing to do with your garbage. Yeah. Because what's garbage for you isn't garbage for everyone. Yeah. Any advice for uh, another city, another program, maybe around the world that wants to start their own bike flip? What, what would you advise they do? Yeah, talk to the people. Yeah. You have to talk to the people. Everybody has an ID. Mm -hmm. And um, the way this works is because everybody has the same, everything changing. Yeah. And um, we got a lot of IDs, but we got way more people. And if all the people in here got their IDs, we throw them all together, and then we get the best IDs for, the, for everything. So you see the, the handling here, it's not that oh, somebody from the office thought about how this should hang, no. Yeah. People here think of this, and if somebody has a better ID, mm -hmm. we don't say, well, maybe this is a good ID. No, we try it. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we can try any ID we want. Fantastic. That's the most thing. Yeah. And how can people find you? Uh, bikeflip.nl. We have uh, Instagram, we have a Facebook page. Thank you so much. This has been fantastic. Have a great day. All right. <laughs> Check it out. Bike flip. Yeah. Yeah. So this bike has ha has new brakes, a new seat, a new chain, new lights. 
so it's ready for people. Fantastic. Yeah. That's so great. The little kid will be really happy with this. That is great. And how long have you been volunteering here, Kathy? Uh, about uh, five months, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I, I just come in every Saturday, yeah. and I'm learning how to do this. Yeah. And I, it turns out I really love doing it. I really yeah. never did bike repair before, but yeah. this is yeah. exciting to like solve problems and make yes. products that kids are really excited about. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.